Lord, don't worry. Be happy. Hi everybody, today is July 24th, 2013. The Japanese government criticized TEPCO's handling of Fukushima plant. It has taken about two and a half years, but it seems the Japanese government is finally losing patience with the operator of the Fukushima nuclear plant. The reason? It's haphazard approach to stabilizing the complex. Last week, it was unexplained steam rising from the shattered remains of the building housing the melted reactor number three. This week, it's TEPCO's admission that radioactive water from the plant has probably been leaking into the Pacific for the last three months. More than likely, much longer than that, ever since these um, facilities went into meltdown and the radioactive material reached the groundwater, that's when it started leaking into the Pacific Ocean. A senior government official has now denounced the company's handling of the situation as deplorable. At first, TEPCO denies there's a problem at the crippled Fukushima plant. Then it becomes obvious to everyone that there is a problem. So the company then acknowledges the problem and makes it public. And finally, one of its hapless officials is sent out an apology to the cameras like this. We sincerely apologize for causing concern to so many people, particularly those who live in Fukushima. That was TEPCO's Masauki Ono after the company admitted for the first time that in line with the fears of the Japan's nuclear regulator, contaminated water was indeed leaking from the nuclear plant into the Pacific. In fact, TEPCO now believes it's been pouring into the sea for three months or so. It follows an unexplained, right, unexplained spike in the level of radioactive cesium in parts of the plant by a worrying 100 times. Also worrying and unknown is just how much contaminated groundwater is leaching into the Pacific. Well, you can bet that they have a good idea just by how much water they're pumping into the system. What they're pumping in is definitely leaching out into the ocean. One of the reactor chiefs at the plant says that we should have learned more from the mistakes that we have made. So far, we're not seeing such a big impact on the ocean, right? We have to analyze more to understand the scale of the leakage. Evidently, this man has no common sense. It says TEPCO also has more analyzing to do. This afternoon, steam has begun being spied, wafting out of the shattered remains of the reactor number three building at Fukushima. Well, more than likely, that is radioactive steam because it's in the groundwater and it's gone into meltdown. It did that last week as well, with the best explanation that TEPCO could offer, being a theory that it could have been caused by rainwater dripping into the reactor containment vessel. Well, that would be a lot of rainwater, wouldn't to create such steam. The ABC has checked the weather up at Fukushima today, and it's slurry, 30 degrees, and mostly sunny. So where's the rainwater coming from? It would appear that the Japanese government is finally starting to tire of TEPCO's excuses, actually lies, with senior vice industry minister today describing the situation at the nuclear plant as deplorable. You know, this is not something that can just be poo-pooed at. This is a very serious situation that is going to have health effects for generations and generations and generations. It goes on to say that the chief said that TEPCO's actions seem too slow and don't live up to our expectations. Um, just now you're finally realizing this? Where has this guy been staying? Under a rock in a cave and just now decided to look out the window? TEPCO's actions do not live up to the expectations of the wider Japanese public, with an opinion poll last week finding that the vast majority think the disaster at Fukushima is far from over. It's not going to be over. Holy cow. The damage to the environment is going to continue for hundreds, if not thousands, of years. Stupidity must be a very highly contagious virus. Our, and the people at TEPCO and those that oversee TEPCO and the um, National Nuclear Regulator all must have the virus. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.